Hey YouTube, uh, today we're gonna do a video about replacing the fans in uh, Del, uh, Del Vostro 7590. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple uh, process. Um, so let's let's just get into it. Uh, this is the laptop, Del Vostro. So let me show you how this is done. Okay, so let's put the camera. Okay, so these are the fans. Um, I know you're gonna ask where did I get the fans? Well, uh, eBay or Amazon. That's a good place to start if you cannot find it on the Dell website, okay, or on the manufacturer website. Okay, so we're gonna remove uh, the back case. We have I have a couple screws, let's see, okay. Okay, so we have three screws on the bottom, they're all Phillips. Okay, one, two, three. We have two screws on the side. Hey. more screws on the top okay now we're just gonna lift the back the back case just like so by the way the the top screws are uh, not gonna come off uh, they actually are going to stay in its in in its place okay here we have to put a little pry tool. Okay, just like that. So we are separating the back case from the palm rest of the machine. And now we're gonna go on the side. Okay, just follow like this. gonna do the front okay. don't put the pry tool to to deep inside okay just enough to actually be able to separate and now this should pop off and okay so the, that's why it was not coming off because this particular side here the screw is stuck so let's see okay now this is going to be a little bit of a problem because the part where the screw gets screwed in actually came off from the holder of the hinge so this is something which i was not anticipating this was supposed to be a very easy process but usually when i'm thinking it's gonna be easy it is not easy okay so let me deal with this particular screw. I'm gonna remove it. Um, this is not part of the of the video. I'm gonna resume the video once that screw is removed, and I'm gonna also show you why that screw was not coming up easy. Okay, so the screw is removed, and the reason why it was not coming off easily because obviously this screw will screw in in it has i don't know how you call it it's right here behind the hinge okay that is um uh, the, the the part of the thread 
and that one is broken so it was just spinning uh, spinning around uh, on empty so that's the reason why it was not coming up now let's get back to the video so these are the fans okay uh, what I recommend you um, just as a precautionary uh, uh, thing just remove the battery connector okay now that anything we do here uh, is very sensitive but still so you have the left fan the right fan first before you start to work pick up your fans and make sure that they are the same size same type of connection so okay so we're gonna remove the fans uh, on the right so basically the left side of the computer you have the CPU fan which is right there and on the left side basically the right side of the computer when you look at it this is the GPU fan uh, in this particular one the GPU fan is damaged but it's better to change both of them okay so we have one fan here and we have another fan just right there okay so we have the right fans let's get uh, taking it off so you have on the GPU fan, which is the largest, the, the larger fan, you have two screws holding it together. We have to separate, we're gonna remove this connector right there and the fan will come right off. Okay, so that's as simple as it is. And we're gonna do the same for the CPU fan, two screws. push on the connector, remove it, lift the fan up. So the two fans removed, we're gonna put back the new fans. Uh, by the way, now it's a good time uh, to see if there is any dust over there. It would be a good time to clean it. This is a clean computer, so there's no need to do that. Okay, now if you had a problem with the fans, for a while, uh, the thermal paste under the CPU and the graphic card uh, might have become hardened and brittle. So I recommend you to also remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws right here. Remove the heat sink and then clean up the old thermal paste and apply a new layer of thermal paste. In this one, the issue just started literally a day ago. So I checked the temperatures. There's not uh, that is not needed. Another thing I'm going to show you, uh, in this particular computer you have space for two SSDs, it's an NVMe type SSD. Uh, this one came only with one, so if you want to up the storage you can buy another uh, SSD right here. Um, so you can go as high as pretty much uh, 4 terabytes. Uh, the SSD will come like this, or catch up with the screw, and that's how you're going to double the memory, I mean increase the memory. And also, this particular computer came with the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it has the other slot empty. So, if you wanna increase the amount of RAM, you'll take another 16 gigabytes of RAM or whatever you want. Pop it in like this, push it down, and you just increase the amount of RAM. Now, that's not needed for this particular computer. Okay. So we're just gonna replace the fan, but I thought, well, while I'm inside, let me just show you a couple, two little things you can do to make it faster and larger storage. Okay, so we're gonna sit the CPU fan first, put in the screws. Okay. We're gonna connect the connection. Connect the connection, yep. <laughs> and now the GPU fan, put it like this. We align it with the holes. So we're gonna push the connector in oh come on just like that and don't forget to reconnect the battery ok 
Okay, we're gonna fire up the computer, make sure that the fans are spinning. Okay, so we have the Dell logo right there. The fans will kick in a little bit later. Okay, once the computer starts to boot. And actually we're gonna have some heat right here. So that's actually a need for the fans to, uh, to start. Uh, by the way, if you don't want to make this video longer than it's supposed to, if the computer didn't give you an error, this computer was getting an error uh, about the GPU fan being failed. That error is not there anymore, so it means that you did the job right. We're gonna put back the back case, okay? So we're gonna push it like this. We're gonna Start to tighten up the screws. Okay, this screw obviously won't go anywhere because there is nothing to get screwed in. front ones and okay, make sure it is pushed all the way in and we're gonna do the last screw and there you have it okay that's how easy it was to actually okay to replace the fan in this particular Dell now if you find this video uh, helpful in any way please uh, like the video subscribe to my channel where I'm trying to upload as uh, often as I have a chance uh, new and informative videos and uh, yeah, until next time, take care. Have a good one.